the Prime Minister. You've done that uh, several times in the past, but once again last month. Uh, I, I, I want to know if you can share with us uh, whether uh, you spoke on issues of health being priority, uh, healthcare has been prioritized, digital transformation in healthcare that's taken place, and uh, how India can play a role in changing the global healthcare scenario across the world. Any conversations on this between you and Prime Minister Modi? Well, certainly, you know, health is two thirds of what our our foundation does. And so we're always talking about the latest thing, uh, you know, and how uh, through partnerships in India, we can prove them out. Uh, you know, treatment for anemia, uh, we need to get the cost of that down. You know, there's a, a breakthrough that instead of a pregnant woman who's uh, very anemic needing six infusions, looks like uh, we can go with one. And then I was talking with Indian partners how we take the cost of that, uh, which is uh, over $30 today to get that under $10. And so I shared some of those anecdotes uh, with the prime minister. You know, the government is putting increasing money into uh, health care, you know, and it's maintaining a significant share for the primary health care. You know, you've got to spend both at the hospital level and uh, and these wellness centers that a little bit, um, the pandemic, although it was tragic, you know, accelerated the notion of, okay, how many tiers do we have? What services are available? Uh, you know, it's been great to see the investment in that, even in the states where the healthcare statistics uh, had been behind, you know, the improvement uh, in Bihar and UP which have been two of our big focus states are really strong, uh, you know, which the, the state and federal government have really made that, that uh, happen. Uh, you know, we're pleased that, that we got to pitch in with it. So yes, it's a, you know, it's an exciting time in health because our understanding of things like malnutrition, you know, finally we're getting some low cost interventions there uh, that, you know, will make that the human resource, which is the primary resource Cindy has, even more effective. Uh, Mr. Gates, do you really believe that uh, digital public infrastructure that has been made in India is an example to the world, especially amongst developing countries in providing healthcare effectively to a larger base of citizens? Uh, the manner in which uh, COVID vaccinations were given through apps, uh, uh, does that uh, really give uh, a statement of sorts uh, to the world? Absolutely. The digital approach, you can track, um, you know, where they're pregnant women, uh, you know, are they coming in for their visits? Are they getting their vaccines? Um, you can make sure that, you know, all the workers are being hired, that they're, they're properly trained. You know, during the pandemic, those digital systems were very impressive. And, you know, now that's being applied to routine healthcare, starting with things like the potion tracker, uh, you know, that's coordinating the work of the Angamani workers. And eventually, all the health workers will get a common view and be able to share data. So that vision. Uh, that the the prime minister has enunciated, uh, you know, there's there's good progress towards that, and in the next several years, you know, we'll really uh, get that implemented. So digital pays off, um, even in agriculture, which you wouldn't think. You know, what I saw with the pest control application that you immediately tell the farmer who's nearby. Uh, that they need to get there and uh, intervene before the problem becomes uh, significant. You know, the statistics on how that's reduced pest loss, and, you know, that, that was the first time I saw uh, that kind of system working well. And, you know, so, you know, digital applications, the efficiency with which you can give advice to citizens, share information with citizens, get payments to citizens, you know, we always knew that it was a platform that it would get broader and broader, starting with the identity and payment. But now in health 
education and agriculture as the ones that, that we're uh, helping out with. Well, uh, at, uh, during your last visit, uh, I was privy to a conversation that you had at the breakfast hosted by Minister Hardeep Puri. Uh, I happen to be there in your honor. And, and this conversation on artificial intelligence, uh, a kind of conversation that was given, a presentation that was given by Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar. Uh, uh, do you think artificial intelligence, deep fake, are these areas where India can collaborate with other countries uh, and, and find the best balance between the positives and the negatives of this uh, technology? Absolutely, and you know it's great that people are already looking into okay, uh, what are what is the ability to create, say, a tutor or to provide health advice, and you know how can India be an exemplar in terms of a, taking advantage of this while maintaining the kind of quality that obviously in health and education you want to have, and uh, you know the the opportunity and challenges are global in nature, the companies doing this work are quite global. Uh, you know, for the foundation, you know, we'll have India as a, a place we want to really help get the pilots done. And so the dialogue about, okay, under what regulatory scheme do you let this go full speed and yet uh, deal with the, those challenges? Um, yeah, India will absolutely be uh, part of that dialogue and uh, bring a, a lot of expertise to it. You know, as the government embraces these things, their ability to understand what the rules around them should be gets that much stronger.